How to Brine Practically Any Meat We'll present you why it is price it to make use of a brine. There's nothing worse than reducing right into a dry, flavorless pork chop or a rubbery hen breast. Fortunately, there's a straightforward repair to make sure that lean meats don't dry out as they cook dinner, brine. Meats like poultry, shrimp and pork are notoriously straightforward to overcook as a result of they don't have a lot fats and marbling to guard them. Infusing that meat with salt works food science magic, growing the moisture inside and amping up the flavor. Brining builds in quite a lot of forgiveness in case you unintentionally overcook issues, all however assure you gain up find yourself with a chewy piece of dry meat. How does brining work? Brining is the method of submerging a reduce of meat into an answer of salt and water. It provides taste, seasoning from the within out, but it surely additionally adjustments the meat's bodily nature. The salt in brine denatures the meat's proteins to permit the cells to retain extra moisture. In the meantime, the brine additionally tenderizes meat by inflicting its muscle fibers to unravel and swell. All of it comes collectively to lure a lot liquid inside that it may possibly all evaporate throughout the cooking course of, making a moister, juicier piece of meat. Isn't science nice? Brines shield lean cuts of meat like hand breasts, pork chops, and seafood as they cook dinner. That makes brine one in every of our go-to secrets and techniques for super tender meat every time you grill. It's not essential to brine crimson meats, like beef or lamb, or fattier cuts, like hen thighs or pork shoulder, however this stuff might profit from a flavorful marinade. Is marinating the identical as brining? Not precisely. Marinades don't include as a lot salt as brines, however they're made with oil and acid, like citrus juice or vinegar, to assist break down powerful muscle fibers. Brine Concepts There are solely two elements in a standard brine, water and salt. You possibly can select any type of salt you want, however understand that totally different salts take up totally different volumes. Desk salt is finer than coarse kosher salt, inflicting half a cup of desk salt to style saltier. It's greatest to state a kosher salt in brine recipes except your recipe advises in a different way. You don't must take the standard salt and water only route when you don't wish to. Attempt a few of these concepts to amp up the flavor of your meat or greens. Add sugar, brown sugar or molasses. These elements add candy taste to meat whereas additionally selling browning. Use the identical quantity as salt, or extra if desired. Sugar infused brines work particularly properly with pork, like grilled pork chops. Use some alcohol. Alcohol may also help carry the brine's flavors, permitting them to penetrate extra deeply into the meat. Add as little as a tablespoon of robust, impartial alcohols like vodka or 1-4 cup of flavorful alcohols like rum or gin. Be happy so as to add much more when working with weaker alcohols like wine and beer. Skip the water. You possibly can completely substitute different liquids as the bottom as an alternative of water. Attempt utilizing apple juice or hen broth to switch some or the entire water, or go all in and brine chicken and buttermilk or pickle juice. In the event you're utilizing an acidic ingredient as an alternative of water, you'll wish to scale back the brining time. Acid will break down the proteins on the surface of the meat, giving it a disagreeable, mushy texture. Toss in different flavorful elements. Including contemporary herbs or citrus peels, or zest, is a implausible approach to amp up the flavor of your brine. We particularly like including herbs to poultry brines, like herb brined Cornish game hens. You can even use different flavorful elements, like soy sauce, Worcestershire, garlic and onions. Attempt heating the brine to infuse these elements into the liquid, after which ensuring to chill the brine down earlier than including the meat. Dry brine versus moist brine Dry brines work in the identical method as moist brines however they don't use any water in any respect. By rubbing your meat with pure salt, you gain at add any extra moisture that would dilute the meat's pure flavors. As a substitute, the salt infuses with the meat's juices, creating super concentrated flavors. This methodology has developed into particularly fashionable for Thanksgiving turkeys as a result of its bodily simpler to do. You don't have to fret about discovering a container massive sufficient to carry all that brining liquid. You can even add dry rub spices whilst you're at it to create a dry brined, herb rub turkey. You is perhaps shocked at how little salt you want for this methodology, too, for every pound of meat. Use 1 to 1 backslash slash 2 teaspoons of kosher salt, or, a tablespoon for each 2 kilos. Rub the salt into the meat till it's coated, however not caked on, and let it sit, uncovered, within the fridge for a similar period of time as a moist brine. 
How do you make a brine? For a standard brine, all you want is water, salt and somewhat thyme, that's it, you barely even want a recipe. I like utilizing 1 tablespoon of kosher salt for each cup of water. For smaller cuts, like hen breasts or pork chops, 4 cups of water might be adequate to cowl the meat utterly. Bigger cuts may have extra brine, so enhance the ratio of water and salt accordingly. For instance, brining a turkey requires about 6 quarts of water and 1 to 1 backslash slash 2 cups kosher salt. Remember that some types of kosher salt are saltier than others, too. Four cups water. One slash four cup kosher salt. Any extra herbs, sugar or fragrant elements, elective. Instructions. Begin by combining the water and salt in a big container. The salt ought to dissolve naturally when the answer is stirred with a whisk, however you may as well warm the combination over low warmth to dissolve the salt extra shortly. Including warmth is one of the best ways to infuse extra elements into the brine like sugar, herbs and fragrant elements. When making use of warmth, attempt heating solely one, four of the water. This lets you use chilly water when including the remaining liquid, cooling down the answer extra shortly. Professional tip, some brine recipes name for added elements, from sugar and honey to herbs and different aromatics like onion and garlic. These additions make the brine odor good and add taste to the surface of the meat, however they gain that penetrate the meat. Since they don't add to the general juiciness of the meat, they're totally elective. I typically desire to make use of these elements post brine, as a spice rub, a compound butter or sauce that tops the meat. If you're including them to the brine, add them alongside the salt. Brine instances Brine is a really salty answer, so it really works fairly shortly. As a common rule of thumb, brine meat for about 1 hour per pound. You possibly can go longer, however understand that it's positively attainable to overbrine your meat. Most overbrining merely makes all the pieces somewhat too salty, and you'll soak the meat in chilly water to attract out the surplus salt. In the event you actually let it go too lengthy, as in, brining for days is an alternative of hours, issues might transcend restore. Doing so could make your meat mushy, and there's no approach to repair that. Learn how to retailer the brine. When you've made your brine, place it in a plastic container, resealable bag or a glass or chrome steel bowl. For bigger cuts of meat, our Czech kitchen recommends choosing up a set of kambu containers. Style of Residence Culinary Director Sarah Farmer remarks how the measurement markings are useful properly pouring within the liquid. It's straightforward to get your palms on business tools like his by means of your native restaurant provide retailer. A cooling rack set into a large rimmed baking sheet is useful for brine brines. You need the cool air to flow into throughout the meat, says Sarah. If the brine was heated to dissolve the salt or sugar, Permit it to chill utterly earlier than including the meals you want to brine. Then, switch the container to the fridge. If the brining elements float to the highest, weigh them down with a small dish or a chunk of parchment paper. Don't fret when you made an excessive amount of brine. Unused brine made with salt and water will be saved indefinitely within the fridge. In the event you added any herbs or aromatics like garlic, it should nonetheless last as long as two weeks. It's not a good suggestion to reuse brine, although, so toss it after the primary use. What to do after the meat is brined? After ready the suitable period of time, take away the meat from the brine and pat it dry with a paper towel. You gain it must rinse it with contemporary water except you unintentionally brined it for too lengthy. From right here, cook dinner the meat in response to your favorite recipe. Brined meats maintain up exceptionally properly to the grill's high heat. However you may as well cook dinner them in a cast iron skillet on the stovetop or roast them within the oven to make a sheet pan dinner.